What up? Happy Friday, everybody. My name is no longer Larry Terry. It is the one, the only Mike McDude, along with the always affable, warm, and caring Mr. Extraordinary himself, Stephen Travers. One of the finest authors in American history, over 30 books, sports, political, a man that can pontificate about any subject you ever wish to hear about. Today, you will get to hear about whatever Steve wants to talk about. It's Friday! It's Friday! Happy Friday, TGIF, everybody. So, uh, Friday. A little Trojan music going on in the background. The conquest. Steve-O. How you doing, buddy? Wow. Um, yeah, you look good. Wow. Um, Beautiful uh, San Francisco Bay Area day, looking outside the window, you see the bridge, gorgeous day. Um, you know, summer evokes some great memories, particularly the beaches of California for me, for you. Is there anything better than a California summer day in which you have these incredible beaches, particularly in Southern California, where there happens to be some of the most beautiful in the entire planet? And uh, Steve, uh, last time I saw, even though it's Gay Pride Month, you were a big fan of women like me. What say you about these beautiful SoCal hotties? Oh, come on, you got to have an opinion about women. What's not to like about them? <laughs> Speaking of which, um, you know, Steve didn't really want to talk about this today, but I'm going to talk about it. Maybe Steve will chime in. And I'm not going to keep harping on it, but it's just a fact of the matter. It's what's making news. It is San Francisco. We have, Throughout the country, it's Gay Pride Month, whatever that means. Uh, I've never been to a gay pride parade here in San Francisco. It's supposed to be a big deal. There is a young lady who plays the U.S. national soccer team. Her name happens to be Jalil Hinkle. God bless her. She is a devout Christian. She left the U.S. Women's National Team because the both the men's and women's team are actually going to be wearing jerseys. I'm wearing a USA soccer jersey right here. Uh, they're going to be actually wearing jerseys that depict the rainbow flag. And uh, Stephen, as we talk about American faith in America, this is one of the great acts I've seen of recent years by a athlete of Christian faith. Your thoughts, please. I don't particularly care about it. Well, how could you not care about this young lady upholding the principles of her, of her, of her faith in Jesus Christ and saying, no, I'm not going to do what the team asks me. I'm going to follow Christ first. I mean, that, that's to be applauded greatly in my Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, and, and, and believe me, I'm not going to sit here and pontificate, but God bless you, Julia Hankel, for doing what you're doing. And um, Steve doesn't want to talk about it, so we've got to move on and talk about other things. Uh, what, what, what's on your mind, Steve? Nothing. You wanted to, you wanted to do the show. I did. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Summertime. <sighs> What's some of your greatest summertime memories? Playing baseball. What? How does baseball weave into the fabric of summer? Because those two, often many people think of summer and baseball. What, is, what does summer and baseball mean for you? Baseball season is in the summer. <laughs> yeah, you're a tough one today, Travs. Um... I did want to do a show today. I don't know if I want to do a show now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but talk about some of the, your summers playing baseball and what you did growing up as a kid because obviously those are seared into your heart and soul, aren't they? Well, we played baseball every day in the summer growing up, and then <clears throat> I traveled all over the the country and all over North America playing baseball in the summer times. Yes. I played, I played one summer in San Diego, 
I played another summer in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I played another summer in Nevada. Wow. I played another summer in uh, Kamloops, British Columbia. I traveled all over Canada. Uh, I played another summer in Johnson City, Tennessee, traveling all over the south. And I played another summer in um, Idaho, and we traveled all over the Rocky Mountains and Canada. Is this true? Canadians love beer? Oh. <laughs> Let's talk about some of those yeah, beer drinking they experiences definitely, definitely in Canada. Beer. What's what's the what do what do the Canadians drink up there? They drink extra old stock, which you can't get here. The stuff you get in that you see in um, liquor stores in America is not what Canadians drink, like Mol Molson's okay. and, and all this other Moosehead. stuff. I, I I never never saw. I it don't there. know. Maybe that's maybe that's. Uh, sold in a commercial basis in big bars, but uh, I always saw extra old stock, which was a very malty, very flavorful and, and substantial beer, very similar to German beer, which I, speaking of baseball and summer, Is that German I, spent beer? A, I spent another summer in Germany coaching baseball. So when you ask, you when you ask about summers, they are about baseball and traveling all and seeing the world. Well, one, I think one of, one of the intangibles that go together with baseball is beer and women. Talk about beer and women and what that's meant to your life. <laughs> beer and women. Can you talk about beer and women? Are you, are you a, are, do you have any uh, experience with this? Or? Well, I used to go to a bar in Berlin, Germany. It was called the Irish Pub. It was on the Kurfürstendamm, otherwise known as the Kudam, which is the main drag in Berlin, the main financial and <sighs> entertainment drag. It was at the lower <sighs> level of what you could be called like a small shopping center, uh, urban shopping center, if you will, next to a re restaurant that was open all night, next to a uh, very fashionable clothing store. This place, the Berlin Pub, you could go in this place at 11.30 on a Tuesday. It would be packed, and there would be a live band playing. It was always packed. It was just packed. So there was great beer and absolutely beautiful German women. Talk about some of these beautiful German women. By the way, how do you like my Jose Canseco well, look? I, I can't. Uh, I can't. No, we can't give, give, too, give away too many trade secrets. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm just simply saying I understand German women, mm -hmm. uh, despite what the Jägermeister commercial says, it's German, it's cold, yeah. But German women are quite delectable, aren't they? You betcha. Ja uh, bitte schön. That means I love you in German. Um, how about the Jose Canseco look right here? Is that like the stupidest thing he's doing these days? The guy's on Comcast Bay Area, and he's supporting a skull cap. The guy can't wear a hat or take a shower like me. Uh, all right, well, we talked baseball and beer. Hey, what's going on with um, one quick question I have for you? It's kind of interesting. It just, just comes to mind. It's, we always try to talk a little BS here, a little whatever, but when we talk about America, we have two, we have a split. We have your conservatives, your moderates, and your liberals, and then or your, your, liberal, your moderate liberal, your moderate Democrats, some of your far left radicals, much of which San Francisco has become, and Seattle, Portland, and other parts of the West Coast, the West, New York. Um, how is it that, that these Democrats do not know their history of the United States? They don't want to know the history of the United States. The history of the United States is a history of their party and people like them doing bad things, hurting the country, and being defeated. It's like being a, it's like being a fan.